every camp, what do we do? We put everybody together. So we have uh, the whole team, you know, that's already in the, in the town. We still have more people coming up, but uh, a lot of athletes here today, just to last like a couple of days before competition starts. But now it's just like keeping mentally and the strategy sharp. What what what, what are going to be our, our performance in the for the competition? Middleweight division is the division who take like the whole occasion this time because you have a we have a tie now which is have a, a very dominant position and we have a two new guys that are that are can really face him. So Ty is a, he's a world champion or less champion in the one light division, but he's heavy and his game is very very open, you know, very good scramble. And the other hand, we have a Jensen, which is a, he, had, he last fight he was the one beat him Ty now. Tainan, we had a little bit of his history at uh, Purple Belt. And then after he, uh, he stayed at middleweight, uh, he got his black belt first, I stayed at middle heavy. Also, that was the reason that, uh, that Johnson asked me, hey, Leo, uh, I have been talking to my father, my coach, Hiko, I want to go down to medium because I never had opportunity to fight with him again. Now. We came it up in the final again. If you're that happy, I'm ready to do this again and come up with the title. He has a very strong mind. He's very like a confidence. His game is, uh, you know, it's very good, and he's gonna give the best. If I want to be the best, I want to beat beat the best. Black keys stand up, right? White keys on your knees. Blue geese, on your knees, but sit down on your heels. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 2023 World IBJJF Jiu-Jitsu Championship. Storylines are made here. Champions are born on these blue and yellow mats, and we are here to bring you all of the action. It is going to be an amazing weekend of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Very good. Now, just time to do it. Hell of a match, huh? Let's go. Two submissions for you on the day, two submissions for Ty. What do we expect tomorrow? Tomorrow, somebody should be meet somebody. <laughs> he's a beast, you know? He's uh, he got a very similar style, you know? He could almost be a third, you know, Rotolo. He's a brother himself, you know? But he's very aggressive and I'm excited to fight him. You know, it's gonna be a good match. It's gonna be a scrap. This I know. I 
and we are back with, at the 2023 IBJJF World Jiu-Jitsu Championships. We got Ty Rotolo representing Atos in the blue gi. He's taking on Jansen Gomez of Checkmat in the white gi. One of the most highly anticipated matches of this 2023 World Jiu-Jitsu Championship. These guys are both firecrackers. Do not look away from this mat. Ty Rotolo known for being I don't know if we can even say unorthodox, but definitely a very fluid, has his own style. Look at Jansen Gomez going for, looks like a drop Seonagi there. Little throw in on a single and around to the back, Jansen Gomez. Oh my oh. goodness! Almost landing in foul, Jansen Gomez. He's trying to get back to his feet. And look at Ty Rotolo spinning. Possibly looking for the knee bar. This is dangerous. Ty has a great knee bar. It looks like Jansen's knee is free. Still an interesting scramble. Ty could always bring that leg back in. Jansen has two points on the board. Oh, but look at this. A toehold attempt by Ty Rotolo. Use it to sweep. Use it to come up, Ty. Use it to sweep. Oh my goodness, Ty really arching that toe hold. Ty gets an advantage for that. Jansen up to two points, but we are now tied on advantages. Yeah, Ty looks very impressive, particularly in this match with Tarek Hopstock as he comes up on a single leg with the grip here. Able to turn that potentially into a takedown. Look at this, going right back to that single leg. And Jansen Gomez spinning! Look at that movement! They're gonna reset to the center. And you can really feel the energy here in the pyramid right now, Jake. Right back to it. And Jansen's staying right with Ty Rotolo as well. Knows what kind of movement the Rotolo brothers possess. Nice leg work by Ty, trying to get that inside position. Jansen trying to stand up on that single. Seems like he's about to be successful. Jansen's able to come up on it. Ty nearly trying to turn that into a rolling knee bar once again. Oh, nice turns it into arm drag an arm counter. drag. Jansen able to secure an advantage for himself to increase his lead a little bit. We're about five and a half minutes into this middleweight semifinal. Jansen Gomez leading Ty Rutolo 2-0. Ty, like you mentioned, the 2022 lightweight world champion, looking for his second title. And Jansen is trying to compete for his first black belt world title. Nice, he Ty pulling guard. This is to see what type of attacks Ty has from his guard. He's in double sleeves right now. I know he's got some tricks up his sleeve. Jansen Gomez on top with the lead. Oh my goodness, Jansen Gomez. Grip on the bottom pant. We've seen that a lot today. Oh, and Jansen moving over to the outside, possibly getting a little bit closer on that pass once again. Transition to the double under. He's able to elevate the hips. Does get another advantage for that. Less than two minutes left. Oh, look at oh, this. Oh, beautiful. Oh, but nearly giving up the mount, Ty Rotolo. A very creative reverse Kimura. This match has been incredible so far, Jake. Definitely a lot of action. Very impressive work by Jansen Gomez to stifle a lot of the movement of Ty Rotolo. But we can't count Ty out. We can never count Ty out. 45 seconds. And now Jansen Gomez, perhaps surprising Ty Rotolo a little bit with a shot of his own. Feeding that right arm through. Coming up on 10 seconds left in this match. Jansen on the single leg. Ty's gonna try to sit through, make something happen here. Oh, but Jansen Gomez is gonna get the two points. And right at the end, Ty Rutolo goes to the knee bar. But Jansen Gomez defeats Ty Rutolo, and he will face Ty Dalpra in our middleweight final. 
Jansen and Tynan have never fought at Black Belt. I know they have some history in the lower belts. And that's a dream matchup for a lot of people here at the 2023 World Jiu-Jitsu Championships. And we will see it in the middleweight final. Coming up, Tynan Delbra of AOJ taking on Jansen Gomez of Checkmat. This match, I feel like, was a long time coming. Both have wins over one another, and they are both looking pumped and ready for this middleweight final. Tynan Delbra undefeated in IBJJF competition. 60 wins now, unreal record. Tynan trying to get things going right away. He's been so dominant, over a 70% submission rate in his black belt matches. Unreal statistics. Jansen had two submissions yesterday. And the win over Ty. Oh my god, yes. Jansen! Almost yes. off the back. Yes. Here he goes, Jansen Nearly attacking! The attack of Unbelievable! Oh Unreal! Jansen Gomez nearly takes the back of Titan Dobra! Two advantages on the board for Jansen Gomez! What a moment! Jansen digging for that underhook. And the crowd is coming alive with the confidence of Jansen Gomez here. Jansen up two advantages right now over Tynan Dalpra. Jansen Gomez on top. And look at Jansen Gomez trying, getting right to work. Yeah, trying to get this double underpass going. Tynan keeping that left leg really heavy. So good with that cross grip on the lapel. Trying to stand up. Gets to a single leg X. One of his best sweeping positions. Jansen does have an amazing base on top. Oh, Jansen, oh! Jansen Gomez. Big pass attempt from Jansen Gomez. Tynan recovers. And oh, here goes movement. Jansen. This place is absolutely on fire for this middleweight final. Jansen Gomez still leading by two advantages. Tynan trying to invert underneath Jansen. But look, once again, that left hand grip of Jansen Gomez. It's saving him at the moment, it's preventing too bad of an inversion. Tynan really trying to keep good control of that leg, force it to the other side of his hip. Disengages from the lapel grip. Now he's free. This is where Jansen's dangerous. Oh, and Jansen Gomez! He's putting the pressure on Tynan Dolbra, and he is feeling himself out there. I cannot believe the energy in this building right now. It's, it's unbelievable. Opportunity to pass around the outside, Jansen Gomez. Tynan's gonna pull guard. Gets that cross grip with his right hand. Very dangerous from this position. Jansen trying to stack again. Gets his hips off the mat. Good position here for Jansen Gomez. Tynan's got great retention though. Gets his hips right back down to the mat. It's that collar grip that was able to bring his hips down. Out of danger for a bit. But one minute, 30 seconds for Tynan Dalper to make the comeback. Oh, oh my goodness! To get up. Jansen forces it back down to the ground. We're at one minute. This is going to come down to the wire, Jake. Oh my goodness, Tynan Dalper might just be able to come up for the sweep here. 20 seconds. Oh, Jansen, Jansen stays on top. Sit back down. Oh my oh, goodness. It's not going to be enough time. Jansen Gomez is still on top. Jansen Gomez. Three, two, one. Jansen, Jansen Gomez. Middleweight world champion here in the 2023 world. The only person in Tyler Gomez's black belt career to defeat him. Jansen Gomez shocks the grappling world here. Total fail.
was undefeated over 60 matches in IBJJF competition leading into that final. But Jansen gets the incredible upset victory. I was like, uh, aiming from this this title, like I say, from way back, like 14 years, 14 years ago, you know, and now I become world champions. I'm very emotional, you know. Not just me, my dad, my brother, we always, always together. We come from the very bottom, from social project, you know, and now we in USA competing like the world championship, competing the final. Get, uh, getting the gold, you know. I just feel like grateful, you know, blessed. Just have to thank God, you know, for everything He's doing in my life and my family life, you know. I, I cannot describe in your words, you know, but the, the, the guys know, everybody knows that I'm very grateful for everyone. And you're 2023, Hale, Hale, I was training these days with Jansen and I felt like he's something different for sure. I never seen a guard passer like so similar like Leo Vieira. I remember 2018, somebody asked me like who would be like if you have to pick who would you be in the next Bushesha? And I told his name. He was purple belt at the time, not even world champion yet. Because I was training with him so I knew the kid was special. I said this five years ago, and now finally he won as a black belt. So I'm really happy for the kid, he really deserves it. I can't describe the emotion I'm feeling. It, it, it doesn't feel real 